Hi all. Today I would like to explain related to the root motion inside Unity. So here I have a couple of animations with root motion and without root motion and a character over here. So if, I, if you want to see the animation, I have one animation which is in place animation, it is not moving and another one is uh, with root motion which is moving forward. But to set up this one, first of all to work with the root motion, we need to do a couple of things. I'm going to use this as a character. This is the main character. This is the animation. So first we need to set up inside the rig when you are working for generic. If it is a humanoid, it's a different, it's different. But when you are working for generic, basically we need to set up the root over here. So create from this model, you need to do and set up the root node. So which will calculate the root animation from this. Okay, this setup you need to do. And the same thing when you are working for root motion, we need to copy from other avatar and we need to call this avatar of whichever the character you are using. So when you use this one and when come to the animation, if you see, you can see the root is moving along with the character and we need to keep it in the loop time so that the root will come. So now this animation to check it on, on top of this character, what I need is I can directly drag and drop this animation on top of this so once you add automatically it will create a animation controller so and when you play you can see this animation is automatically moving forward nicely so this is when you have the animation inside your animation uh, something like if you export animation along with the root motion from Maya or Blender or any other 3D package this will, will work but in case if you have an animation something like this okay this doesn't have any root motion animation inside it so in that case how we can add the root motion so remove this I'll just add this animation with non root motion so when I play this you can see the character is stuck over there and I can make this one as a loop okay so when you play now you can see the character is not moving even though we enabled the root motion over here so uh, in that case couple of things we can we need to add as a parameter so create a parameter with the float move forward I'm just cre I just created a parameter called move forward the same thing I need to add as a curve inside our animation wherever the animation is there inside it I will create a curve called move forward okay so here I'm using a preset of linear curve and right now it is only the value is if you want to change you can right click over there to edit the value I'm just keeping this value to 2 minimum maybe you can keep one and test it or you can change it later so and click apply but still when you when you play you won't see any difference because we just added a float value inside animator and uh, and a curve inside animation but we need to write a code to control this root motion so to control the root motion so this is the basic code it is basically we are calling the animator and inside the animator we are getting the position of the current transform and we are creating a new transform based on the float move forward okay so that we are multiplying with the time dot delta time so this one I am using it so right now I will just drag and drop this onto the elephant character so right automatically you can see a play root motion handled by the script you can see that one so now once you come over here and click on play you can see character is moving but it is not proper because the uh, we just added only two as a value so instead what we can do is we can change this curve length uh, maybe instead of two we can make it into edit make it to five and apply let's see whether it will imp improve anything but when you do the manual animation inside Maya that looks much better but whereas if you do with the curve there might be slight jerk or something or you need to adjust this curve 
properly inside unity something like maybe we need to adjust little more or you can use this kind of curve and change it so all these things you need to experiment as an animator and adjust it properly so uh, I think 5 is the best let's try now but still you can see there is a character is moving but still the curve is not correct so two ways I try to showcase you one is with normal root motion and one is with using with the handled by the script thank you